I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good morning, good morning, Tom Evans. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful day? Well, all the better for speaking to you today. Hey, I appreciate that. I do feel the same way as well. Tom, what part of the woods are you in right now? I'm about 30 miles southwest of London, uh, near a a city called Guildford in the beautiful Surrey Hills, an area of outstanding natural beauty. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got to see a bit of your video and the light that came streaming in looks amazing in the room you stood in, you sat in. So I could well imagine just a bit at least. (laughs) Tom, tell me, which of your talents is responsible for us meeting? Do you know, well, it's it's one talent is I'm a podcaster like you, so you probably tuned into the fact I'm a podcaster. But I think the main talent is, is I work very intuitively. And when you got in touch, not even 24 hours ago, I went, I've got to speak to this guy. I don't know why. So it's my intuition. I love that. I love that. Ooh, let's do that then. So who did you learn, if it's even possible to learn it, the skill of intuition? It is. I uh, started meditating about uh, 14, 15 years ago. And uh, I found out that when you quieten the mind, the, the monkey mind, the chatter, you can tune into other mind centers in your body. And I discovered that the seat of our intuition is in our gut mind and it's the nerve endings between the outer wall of our uh, digestive system and the inner inner wall and this is an active mind center it only speaks in uh, yes or no go or no go it hasn't got language and when you quieten the mind you can ask your gut should i speak to this guy or should i not speak to this guy yeah. and uh, my gut came back saying yes and it was a loud yes and that. when you follow your gut, you'll never go wrong. And how many times have you said, oh, I wish to trust in my gut on that? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I, I, I say on my side, instinct. You know, there's one guy I reached out to and he said something to the tune that he's in show. And I said, he said, um, what do you think? I said, no, no, no. Hey, you go with your instinct. Your first instinct is usually right. So if your first instinct is no, I don't want to, then you shouldn't. I love that you brought that to light, Tom. Um, going with your instincts, going with your gut is something that can be challenging sometimes, especially when dealing with the physical mindset, right? Why will you continue to repeat that skill? Because it works very well. I'm finding even more about it. You said it's the first thing. And what neuroscientists have discovered now is the gut mind works about five seconds ahead of our conscious mind. It's always scanning the world around us. So the reason it's the first thing is because it's ahead of time. And so the reason I'm going to continue to do this is I've discovered also we can interrogate the heart center and other mind centers in our body. And when you do this, you end up in this whole mind state where when you get your head, your heart and your gut in alignment, you never, ever put a foot wrong. Hmm. I love that. Now, this conversation could go an hour and 20 minutes easy, right? So please understand I'm continuously honing in myself to not asking um, a million and one questions. But um, I must say the the quantum physics aspects of what we're speaking with, what it looks like to travel time, right, Mm -hmm. Um, is an interesting conversation as opposed to what you're saying the gut is actually achieving, right? Mm -hmm. It is, right? Yeah. And the gut is ahead of time, and we have other mind centers that work outside time completely. In fact, the whole right side of our brain works outside space and time, and the left side of the brain works inside space and time. And that's a a more accurate model than the the left being a a logical center and the right being a creative center. Hmm. There we go. Amazing audience. Like, let's check out this guy's podcast. Believe me, he (laughs) he goes really deep. He goes really deep. I'll, I'll do my best to cover uh, what you do, Tom. Tom, what, what's the best way for us to connect with what you do? Send us somewhere we can find out more. Easiest way is tomevans.co, www.tomevans.co, not .com or .co.uk. And from there, you can find the links to the podcast, links to the books, links to the meditations and the courses. I've, I've got a course on how you change the speed of time and get more done with less time by changing the speed and the nature of your mind. 
Mm, I love it. You know, the first time I bounced that up was by Guy Hendricks when you were talking about Einstein time, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, what is this guy speaking of? Until I tried it, it's it's really fascinating. So mm-hmm. check out Tom Evans. Tom, tell me, what is one thing you've done consistently? One other thing you've done consistently over the last three years? Content marketing. So don't waste any time on Facebook ads or all that. So just put loads of content out there where you can put it out there free. And as a result of that, every single day, every single day, about two or three thousand people listen to one of my meditations and uh, and it makes the world a nicer place. And then the, the, the people that uh, will become your customers find you through your content. Hmm. Yeah, I endorse what he just said. Amazing audience. It's what I've done as well. Um, I did spend on Facebook ads and I guess that works. Um, um, it didn't work for me, but having content that represents who I am um, most accurately definitely has created um, a snowball effect. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what snowball effect is equal in the Caribbean. Like, uh, what's <laughs> uh, uh, been hurricanes recently? Yeah, the hurricane effect, right? But not the disaster. The actually exactly. the the magnetism to what you would like to enhance in others' the wind, lives. The wind of change. The wind of change. There we go. The wind of change. So, how does it make you feel creating content? Uh, happy as larry um in my element i'm in my zone uh, every single day something uh, new comes out and it, it it doesn't come from me it comes through me so i feel like i i'm channeling these things in which is just amazing hmm. so just to someone out there tom who may be having these challenges right with even the content creation why they should do what you've done because the story of their life finds them so you find your groove and your, your route through life is shown to you as opposed to you trying to find it. And it's shown through your muse, it's shown, shown through your content. So the content I generate isn't stuff that um, I know about, it's stuff that I'm kind of finding out for the first time myself. So it's kind of instructive. It's I did say it's fun. It is fun and it opens doors that you'd never imagine would ever be open for you. Yeah. Like speaking to Tom Evans, right? You um, got it, yeah. yeah. In the other part of the world, the other side of the pond. Yeah. Well, amazing audience. Check out Tom, as I said already. Uh, the name of your show, like I love the artwork. Um, the Zone, was it was it the Zone podcast? The Zone Show, my apologies. So the Zone Show, yeah, yeah. The Zone Show, yeah. Being, being in the zone, what happens when we're out of the zone and what we do to get back in it. And then in that lovely zone where, you know, things just, um, it just happened. So if you want to be interviewed about something, you just put it out there it'd be great and then a person called angle jones it's very yeah. like angel jones i notice yeah. just turns up when you least expect <laughs> that's wonderful well amazing audience again tom evans check him out tom evans.com sorry my apologies so that's probably the error a lot of people make right the dot com it, but it's dot c o dot u k yeah no not even that it's just dot c o oh, it's really? Colombian. Okay. I, the, the doc, the doc, there's loads of Tom Evans out there, and the .co UK had gone, the .com had gone before I got into this web thing. So, um, yeah. .co is a new trendy uh, URL, and but if you put Tom Evans into Google, I come up number one. So wonderful. And Evans is E V A N S, just in case. Right. Well, Tom, let's switch gears for a moment now, and let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Tom, what was your earliest childhood memory? It was my granny teaching me how to write. Mm, how old do you think you were? I was three. So why do you think this memory is so clear? Because I was always ahead at, at school. I did my 11 plus when I was nine. I did my O levels when I was 15. And I was. I think my granny just taught me that you didn't have to wait till you were five to do anything. So you didn't have to give, you didn't have to wait for permission if you were capable of doing something to do something. Mm. So I was obviously capable about writing. Uh, when I was three, so that's what I did. Interesting. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah. Yeah, something just pops up, pow, like immediately, and that was the idea of the power of a conversation, which was mentioned on your podcast that I just listened to with um, that guy who is building the university, Amit Goswami. I hope I'm pronouncing his name properly. properly. But pretty good. The, the aspect of your grandmother's time and what she experienced and what she had in terms of the time spent to achieve it being given to you as a gift 
in a focal point where you're writing, but understanding the time concept that is occurring there that is keeping you from having to experience that time in itself. However, getting ahead, the futuristic aspect, even as you spoke about the gut feeling, is pretty fascinating. Yeah, she knew, she knew something back then. Yeah, yeah. Wow. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? Well, I had an older brother, a sort of family of um, seven kids, Irish Catholics, so lots of kids. And wow. my older brother was uh, about four years older than me, so he introduced me to a uh, great time. It was 1970, so a great time for music. And and it's funny you mentioned about time because I love this song by Neil Young called After the Gold Rush. And that's the song about time. It's about a time past when everything was nice and a time when Armageddon kicked off and nuclear war happened. And then a time when these spaceships came to the Earth to take um, the ones that were left away. You know, So it was, it was a little time, time temporal story in a song, which I just love to this day. It's amazing how it connects, my friend. It is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well, Tom, we have arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form, so it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to go a bit quick here. Tom, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? I have. Uh, the content that's out there is doing that right now. Um, uh, I, my, my books are doing that right now. That's my legacy. So I'm, to, I'm even writing two more books at the moment. So I've, I'm leaving a breadcrumb trail behind a big one. So lots of stuff out there. And it's not just one person, it's many. Are you married? I am. Do you have children? Uh, just two labradoodles. No, do- no dogs, no children. They can't. They can't. They do. do you believe in God? I don't believe in God with a capital G, uh, but I believe in the concept of uh, creative force, perhaps God with a small G. Uh, and also lots of uh, regions in between of, of intelligence that maybe some aren't incarnate. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do, yeah. Probably not very big, probably about uh, five or ten. Hmm. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Probably not. About, about three hours, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, about three hours. And what about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? You know, I've got to be, I've got to admit, it's more than eight. Hmm. Tom, after a thousand and one conversations in three months, I came up with a workbook. Sometimes I believe it came up with me, um, but the workbook stands for your own unique real self, yours. But connected to that is your own unique real statement, your mission, if you would. If you could share with us your own unique real statement, something that represents Tom Evans, what would that be? Well, it's funny. I, every time I try to define my mission, it's always eluded me, but I think my mission is finally been shown to me and that's to help humanity awaken to the next level of conscious awareness Mm, i love it tom evans this was a great pleasure before you leave is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience i would um i was found discovered by an app called insight timer just over two years ago i had no idea at that time that my meditations were any good i thought i was an author uh, who did meditations on the side I've now discovered I'm a meditation guide who happens to write books. These books, these meditations are free. The app, the idea behind the app is getting the whole world meditating one person at a time to make the world a better place. If you go to insighttimer.com slash Tom Evans, download the app for free. My meditations are out there for free. Pass it on because we're on this spaceship together. And doesn't it make sense that we all get on and we make it a nicer place? Mm. I love it. Tom Evans, this again is a great pleasure. Like I said that once before, I needed to say it one more time. But um, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com That's poemsbyag.com